Hello, my name is Larry Flick, and I'm uh, your professor in Principles of Management online. I wanted to do this short little tutorial about how to get into My Management Lab. Let's start by going to mycomnet.edu. Here on the screen, you'll see that. Um, okay, continuing on, once you're here, you would click onto Blackboard Learn, and then you would go to our class, Principles of Management, and then you always land on the announcements page, and I would scroll down to about midway through, uh, the date being 12512, and I would then highlight the course ID number and click uh, Command Copy, and um, at the, and then we'll paste that in in a moment. Okay, let's let's scroll up to the My Management Lab area and click on that, and then go in as a student over here. Register, need access, start here. Go in as a student, then uh, paste the um, course ID number right there. Then click next, and then you you're going to be asked. Uh, do you have an access code? Now, if you bought a new book, you would have an access code included. And if you didn't, if you bought a used book or otherwise wanted an ebook or what have you, you don't. So in this case, let's say that no, I, I need um, to buy access. So you would click that and go to the next stage. Then you would say, okay, which book do I need? You would click on Fundamentals of Management right there and go to the next page now you register for for my management lab here and you have a choice um, uh, you could buy the e-textbook now or you could wait until later and purchase it if you wanted to so uh, you have a choice okay or I would like to buy it without the e-text uh, if you buy the e-text it's eighty dollars if you buy it without it, it's $40. So I clicked without. Then I went to next, and you have to accept um, the uh, privacy policy and the license agreement. And then you need to, uh, uh, you'll see here in this screen, iManagement Lab for the fundamentals of management um, and so forth, price $40. Do you have a Pearson Education account? Well, if you don't have a Pearson Education account, uh, the only reason you would is if you took a math course and it had My Math Lab, or if you took an, any other course and you needed a uh, Pearson Education account, then you might have one. But if you um, don't know, uh, you would click no, I'm not sure, or you could say no, I don't. And then here you would create a login name and create a password and retype the password in. And once you do that, uh, I'm not going to do that, but once you go ahead and do that, uh, you'll be able to uh, get into the course. Uh, we'll stop for now. Hopefully uh, that explains it. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.